Hello everyone, Jack Hollywood here with a brand new edition of Jack Plays, and today we're gonna we're gonna be taking a look at Metal Slug 6. Uh, this one is quite a pretty amusing ride in terms of emulation because MAME doesn't really really take too kindly to Baron for this. So your best bet is either to pick up Metal Slug Anthology, which has Metal Slug 1 through 6 and X on one disc, which is a really good deal if, if you're not willing to go out and emulate these games. <laughs> or for the purists out there, this game did have a PS2 port, which is what I'm playing right now, but it was only released, released in, in, Japa in Japan. I'm still using emulation to some degree, but but that's through a PS2 emulator called PCSX2. Don't ask me where I got the files from, you're just gonna have to find them yourself. <laughs> so, for the first time in a Metal Slug game, we have Easy and Hard mode. Uh, easy, as you'd expect, makes things ridiculously easy and the final mission is locked, so the only way to experience the full game is on hard. And just like always, we're gonna go with Theo, my 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 waifu. So, so new features include being able to carry two, two, two guns at the same time, being able to throw cer certain weapons away if you really want to, and we even have two new newcomers, Ralph and Clark, who, who were previous, previously known for their appearances in Akari Warriors and the King of Fighters games. It seems that SNK really love to make their characters unite in one universe. I didn't know we were all living in Infinity War here. And here's a helicopter we're gonna gun down with, with our pea shooter. As you normally would in Metal Slug. Also, also at the bottom left we have a brand new combo system, which I personally find to be more effective than, than the one Metal Slug 4 tr tr tried to shoehorn in. Basically... Basically, you can just keep inflicting damage on things un until it re reaches max. And, and by the time you've maxed your multiplier out, everything starts spewing coins out of when you kill them. It's amazing. Also, another thing I've seemed to, seem to notice upon upon playing is that, well, this game apparently has Vulcan Fix, which keeps the Slugs Cannon in place, which, to my knowledge, definitely wasn't in wasn't in any of the arcade versions.
Ah, oh, took a bit of damage there, but what are you gonna do? Get back. And first boss down. Good, great. So yeah, so yeah, well Anthology's port was pretty close to Arcade Perfect. This PS2 port is pretty much arcade perfection as as far as I'm concerned. Of course I'm not saying the one the one included in anthology is impossible to play because it's it really isn't. I want that lazy gun. Whoa! That was a pretty scary pause right there. Getting some pretty long pauses here. I don't know if it's just Revive running in the background, but yeah, I certainly didn't didn't get this before. And here we have the donkey slug, Theo's favourite apparently. <laughs> These new screams are pretty pathetic, I'm sorry. Oh, I should have freed those prisoners way earlier. See ya. Oh, at least that one do doesn't keep walking off screen. Up, oh, it's it's the one that fires Hadoukins. Yeah, this probably isn't the most efficient of, of efficient way of dealing with with this wave of enemies. Yeah, I should have probably just made my way out or off.
So yeah, not, not much you can do with this boss other than avoid its rockets and shoot up. I like how the music fades out just to give you a false sense, sense of accomplishment, like it's, it's over already. Doing all right here. Not death of using to get 10 extra grenades because that's the coward's way out. Oh, I'm, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping the emulator doesn't crash like, like so many missions in. There we go, we did it. And um, and we pretty much crash landed into nowhere. <laughs> oh, what's this? Yep, it seems we've got new alien enemies to add to the equation. <laughs> and that's how I ended up here. Admittedly, these guys are nowhere near as cute looking as, as the Mars people. These Venus... <laughs> Venus reasons or whatever they're supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know, I've... I've just never really found them as fun as the Mars people from the earlier games. I feel like I'm getting more messed up than the lag over the lag spikes more than anything else. Well, I I guess I shouldn't really say live lag spikes, more like pauses. Absolutely love this song. That they use for mission four three. For some reason, I've always found the reloading animation to be a, a pretty funny touch, like... Like, obviously it's kind of pointless seeing as how you have infinite ammo, but... Hey, nothing's pointless to SNK. There's another one up here. 
I think you can actually despawn this guy, but I'm just gonna deal with him the old-fashioned way. And if we go up here. These guys love to eat your soul. So avoid at all costs. And yeah, they, they also they also possess these guys. Uh, that was that was a pretty pretty good that was some pretty good shooting there honestly I haven't been down this road in quite a while. Have seen that guy spin in. Yeah, admittedly, I'm not really that that good at these games. I don't really want to waste the dual machine guns yet. So much for that, I pretty much lost them. Look at these three points I'm get I'm gonna be getting. Kind of sucks that I wasn't really able to get them all though. I, I pretty much do that every time. Ah. People, most people underestimate the the Zangetsu sword, but honestly, I think it's it's a pretty good weapon because obviously you never want to get up close for, for enemies like this, but but. In the case of that particular weapon, it's actually quite effective. Hmm. Get Vulcan Fix going up here because it's actually really handy against this guy <laughs> with with a lot of HP and really cheap attacks. Where's he going to throw it? Right in front of him. Oh, come on. Well, guess it's time for the old-fashioned way. Probably isn't the most effective way of doing it, but I don't know what chance I'm going to have if the slug is right there, being dragged 
being dragged by his feet. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> I thought that was going to hit me there. I oh, still took him out without that many casualties. I, I swear, I swear that victory sign is, is like a common thing in in Japanese games. Mission 4, or as I like to call it, the mission where you can actually cha change your ending. Because, because there's two routes in here and, well, obviously, as I've said, both of them affect how the game ends. And what's going to be in these boxes? Quite a lot of grenades. I've always found this... Yeah, I've always found this wave of enemies to be really brutal. Because I've never really been able to live that long against it. I feel like I'm trying to be Neo over here. I feel like I'm living his life <laughs> at normal speed. Yep. Yep. I was wondering where that spot would be. Or at least the spot to get down there. Sup, Root Mars. <laughs> Like, how he got bo brought back from the dead, I'll never know. Especially considering that chronologically this game takes place after 3. Well, at least it takes it, it takes place after 3 in, in the canon. Yeah, admittedly, admittedly, I'm not a very big fan of this route because because there's only so many directions Route Mars <laughs> can pull you in. You know, I think this is actually the same exact route, but but just with Root, root Mars carrying, carrying you the whole way. Thank you. 
funny how I'm just picking up on these things. What? In all my life, I have never s <laughs> never seen its head kill me. Oh yeah, I think I know what kills kills me. His pathetic little claws. Okay, I really need to st stop getting killed by this guy. I say as I <laughs> as it touches my foot again. Come on, where are you? Yeah, that's probably one of the few bosses I really need to get better at. Where's Marco? Where's he going? We may never know. Honestly, I'd say this is this is like the fastest track record I I I I'd say this is like the fastest track record for for. For more than soldiers, soldiers come into your aid. And yeah, just like a real war. <laughs> Of this of this kind, there will be many many casualties. But not to worry, we'll always, we'll always remember these brave soldiers. Until you know we play this game again and they die for like the hundredth time. Oh god! I have no grenades! <laughs> that was probably the scariest thing ever. Yeah, I need some sort of protection.
I gotta say I'm doing a decent job at Let's see if we can have Theo set up, set up a picnic right here. Because that's pretty much her idle animation. Oh no, she's just, just gonna sneeze. Come on. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there's there's always a time for every everything for her. I I've always referred to this this part of the mission as slow dig dog. And suddenly the, the band's name Alien Ant Farm makes a lot of sense. Oh, and I've never really noticed this, but messing around with, with the, the right analog stick, you can aim your guns around slightly. If I can get those grenades. Come on, it. Come on, aim, aim at the ants. There we go. That's not good. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to do that. I, I knew I wasn't going to pull this section off on one life. That's as cautious as, as I can be. I find it kind of funny how we're saving Mars people now. I like how it zero points, thanks. Thanks for that. I, I, I like how that switches for, for, for like the final mission. See, that's more like it. <laughs> Why can't the rest be that generous? Oh, there goes my dual machine guns. Yeah, that's just... 
Yeah, that's exactly what I describe as generous. No, I want the briefcase. Go back. Oh, guess we're going to move on. Beautiful weapon this is. Of course, I'm pretty much wasting it, but... Yeah, people seem to greatly underestimate how how good the Zangetsu sword really is. I swear I know the path to continuing better better than better than I do to better than I do the the path of staying alive. Not gonna get too up close to these guys because they can do that. No, don't jump off. You had so much to live for. Yeah, of course that would have hit me. And I should have... I really should have jumped. This is probably going to seem kind of pointless since... Yeah, you don't have to free that guy, but... I was pretty unsuccessful in, in, in helping him anyway. Whoa, that, that was very generous. The game just respawned me behind him. I couldn't really find a great opportunity to avoid his... Why am I failing the most basic jumps? Yeah, this is just this is just a ridiculous gauntlet. Get out of here. You're no Mars people. Ah, oh, just a bone, thanks. Oh, the music, the music stopped. I sense boss. Okay. Yep, they got Marco.
Goku. Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to jump into my line of fire. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to go up and personal against this guy. Either way, we saved him. Yeah, you can take care of your own problems, buddy. So yeah, with that, it's true final boss time. For a while, I, for a while, I thought whatever this is hurt. When in reality, it really doesn't. Oh, that was e that was an easy final boss. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, no. Of course it's not over. I'm really surprised I haven't died yet, considering my skill level at this game. I probably should have jumped. Why did I not jump there? No, I shouldn't, get, I shouldn't have got back in. All right, now is a, now is a, now is a good time to wail on him. No, don't pause. Continue. Come on, die already! Oh no, I ditched my- I ditched my slug! And you know what, I don't I don't even care anymore. That was probably the biggest loss of my life.
And yep, there's the true riff. Rip. The, the slug's destroyed for good. I don't even care about you, Theo. I just lost a golden metal slug. Mission complete. J just kidding. I actually do care about her. And you know she's going to survive anyway. Yep. Can't wait to see her put this on her mission report. And that was Metal Slug 6. Oh, you know No. Jack. <laughs> Jack the Keck. <laughs> I don't know. I've just found that an, amu an amusing name to put on my put on the boards. Obviously this is this is a really contested contested sequel. Because I've seen a few people who seem to like this one a lot who seem to like this one less than less than five. When they first got to play it on on the anthology collection, but truth be told, it, I still think it, it's a good it's a good it's a good game. True, true. You can argue that, that the series has gone on to, to lose its charm a bit. But honestly, no matter no matter what people say about the later games in the series, like "oh, this isn't as good," this isn't how I remember Metal Slug, stuff like that. Because you know, I'll, I'll I'm still gonna put a lot of time into these games, no matter what people say about them. Because, well. Who cares about the most minuscule of changes, right? As long as I'm having having fun with them, that's as long as I can have fun with them, that's really all that matters, isn't it? Anyway, this has been Jack Highworth with this edition of Jack Plays, and I hope you enjoyed it.